what is up you guys welcome back to the channel um this is stuff that i'm just i'm just in the in the in the middle of doing and i just thought i'd share it with you guys um i have a bunch of pages right a bunch of and and i use karcher so if you're new to the channel you hear me talking about karcher all the time i use karcher for everything my landing pages my email autoresponder my video hosting my calendar so people can click a link and go schedule an appointment with me um all of my affiliate marketing um, my products, my digital products, people can, you know, buy stuff online all through my, my website, all through the Karcher portal. All my products are on, on Karcher. So profit with Karcher dot online is, is, is what I use for all of my online needs. So there's a, there's a 14 day trial a link in the description, but this is super, super important because as you start to build different businesses, as you start, as you start to build your business and you start to, as, and you start to branch out to different products, um, it's very, very, very important that your Facebook pixel is the correct Facebook pixel is on every page, like every page, every, every, every page in your entire website, web page, internet marketing arsenal, like every page needs to have your Facebook pixel and it has to be the correct Facebook pixel. So again, if you have different products, you need to be tracking this with either the same Facebook pixel or a different Facebook pixel or a different standard event or a different custom audience or a different custom conversion. There's so much that goes into it when it comes to the trackability of, of, of your entire online business. Like this stuff is super, super important. So what I'm doing, man, is I'm just prepping for my next launch, right? I'm prepping. I'm make sure, making sure all my T's are crossed. All my, I, all my, all my I's are dotted and, and I'm making sure that these pixels are, are correct. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm literally in the next few minutes, I'm going to see if I can just replace or just update all of these pixels on all these different pages that I started creating. So what I'm going to do is I have um, this four day cash machine. This is one specific offer that is going to go into the, <clears throat> I'm going to put this in the, um, I'm going to make sure that this is in the social real estate agent um, pixel. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to come to make sure you're in the correct ad account. Okay. And then you hit these three lines, you come down and you hit pixels. If you don't see it there at the top, you'll see it under all tools and you come over here and click on pixels. So we need the pixel for this specific ad account. Okay. Every ad account um, has a different pixel. So you want to use if again if you if you have multiple products you need multiple ad accounts okay and the way you're going to set that up is go to business.facebook.com and set up your business manager that's what you want to do for sure so make sure again it's in the correct ad account sometimes by default it'll, it'll go back but let's just make sure it's updated okay so there's the actual ad account and then what we're going to do is we're going to click on this, the social real estate agent. Um, these are all new ad accounts. So that's why I'm making sure that everything is updated. And then I'm going to come over here to set up, click on set up, install pixel. Okay. So I'm going to manually add pixel code to website and it's going to be this one right here. So this right here, number one, install base code on website. Okay. Copy that. And I'm going to bring it over to this page. Okay, so this right here, open up the page. And most um, um, landing page software or web page software, a lot of it's the same as far as the settings where you can come in and, and add any type of tracking code, whether it's a Google code, um, a Google analytics code or a Facebook code or a YouTube code, anything like that. Um, normally you can come up here and on this one with Kartra, it's up here in the top left, click on settings. and then click on tracking code. Now let me check the SEO parameters to make sure the page title. Okay, so last offer, that's what they see in the tab. So up here in the tab, you see Google Calendar, Facebook Pixel, Kartra, that's the title of the page, that's the name in the tab. This is my, my tab as well, so I wanna make sure that that's correct. Okay, so that's good. So we go to tracking code, and then we got up here, embed tracking code into the head, embed tracking code into the body, embed tracking code into the footer, so it's this one right here, Facebook ads 
tracking. So all I'm gonna do, man, is I'm gonna actually update this just to make sure that the correct one is reflecting, okay? So I'm gonna do that, and then what I'm also going to do is I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add, so I'm gonna come down here to number two, turn off automatic advanced offing. I'm gonna turn that off and then test the base code. We can, we can, we can do that with our little pixel helper up here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit continue, and then I'm gonna go manually add event code. Okay, so this is said right here. Now that you've installed the pixel base code, you can use the event setup tool to track the actions that matter most to your business without using additional code. So right here, manually add event code. And this over here is going to give me a different category. So e-commerce and retail, whatever you know, business category you're in, find that one. What I normally do is I go with um, professional services. So I'll go with professional services. And on this one, it's not, this is not a page that someone purchased something um, just yet. It's a page that, um, that, that people are just viewing. They're just viewing it. Um, <clears throat> they haven't, they haven't purchased anything yet. So I'm going to put this one, I'm going to use the code um, for, I can go either view content, complete registration, add payment info, customize product, initiate checkout, search, lead, schedule. I'm gonna go with view content. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shade that to gray and I'm gonna grab the code. And that is it, you guys. Hit done. And now this code, I'm gonna come over here and paste it. And I'm actually gonna use the same exact one for the next page. So I'm gonna copy the entire thing, click apply, come over here, hit save progress, and then I'm gonna publish live, okay? So that's one of my pages for, one of my products, one of my pages, um, and then up here, I can just simply take the link, and then I can, um, actually, you know what, this is going to be, um, customize this to my domain. So let's do that. I'm glad we did that. Okay, perfect. So we actually, damn it, did I save it? Let me see. Go back to publish live. Let's make sure that that link saved. Okay, it didn't. So what you got to do is you got to hit this edit. This is the drop down. So this is the domain. Okay, so this is the domain that I have integrated with Kartra. Okay, I integrated it through GoDaddy and Kartra. There's instructions on how to do all that. Um, in fact, I have a video showing you how to do that but you can add as many domains as you want with the first with your Kartra starter plan it, it allows you to have one domain and then after that each domain is, is an additional ten dollars a month for each domain that you want to um, integrate now you don't have to integrate all your domains i wouldn't suggest that just the main main ones like this whole time i have a few different domains but i only i only use one of them with Kartra because all my other ones i just leave it with the with the default Kartra url because no one really cares man if you're not really promoting that or 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 advertising that link in a bunch of places it really doesn't matter man it when when you start running ads and start you know promoting and doing any any type of advertising then yes you want your legit domain showing at all times but it, it, it doesn't matter, man, in my opinion. So in this case, this is a, a page that I do advertise. So I'm going to make sure that my link is, is, is my customized domain is there. So I'm going to hit this green one and save it. Perfect. So we do that, close that out. And then we're going to, um, we're going to return a dashboard and then I'm going to go to the next page. So go to categories, go back to that second page and then hit edit so custom audiences you guys um your pixel all that stuff is the most important man it's the most important when it comes to paid traffic you need to know who the hell is landing where, okay? Super, super important. So over here, again, hit settings. 
and then hit tracking code. And then I'm going to come down to the bottom. And I'm going to simply see that that pixel was wrong. So I'm glad I updated that. So hit save and then hit publish live. And then I'm pretty sure I need to change this domain as well. Perfect. Okay, so drop that down to the domain. Let's save it. Let's close it. And let's return a dashboard. Perfect. So all I'm going to do, you guys, is that's how you install your Facebook Pixel. Okay, so I'm going to spend the next few minutes. I won't bore you guys to death, but I'm going to spend the next few minutes and I'm going to go through um, all of my pages to make sure every single one of them is updated and, and, and being tracked with the correct pixel. Okay, so just wanted to share that with you guys. Hope that helps. Install your pixel and start tracking your shit. I'll see you guys in the next video. Over and out.